Yes. <laughs> Dr. Mini in the house. All right. <laughs> I appreciate that. The carnivore diet. Because of the heat. Honestly, you've really touched my heart. Many of us naturally cycle with the moon. So right. yes. full moon being ovulation. So like if you take like the way I teach fasting, if a woman who had a hysterectomy, one thing you could do is just enter, look at what I recommend for ovulation for fasting, time that with a full moon and then follow the cycle of the moon. Beautifully said, I would say the exact same thing. And that's actually part of the, you know, in the Betty body, I talked Mm -hmm. about that. So, you know, we talked a lot about like you're in your reproductive years. These are the each week that you need to eat this way, train this way, you know, et cetera. But if you're someone who is no longer uh, in your reproductive years, meaning that you've moved into menopause, you still are a cycling being just by nature of being a woman. Um, So I think that the moon or the lunar uh, ebbs and flows are a beautiful way to still modulate the way that you are training and eating and your stress. And even like, I, I notice, uh, you know, I, I, you know, I don't always pair up with the moon, uh, you know, in terms of like uh, ovulate is full moon and I bleed on the new moon, like a, some, I like, you know, depending on the length of the month or whatever, sometimes I'm a little off, but I think that, um, it's a beautiful way to start noticing in how the moon affects your energy. Cause I always yeah. have way more energy around the full moon. Like that's yep. usually the time where I'm like, gosh, I'm like up and I'm cleaning and I have so much energy and I have, you know, and I'm rearranging the furniture and that's usually the, you know, the time I'm like, oh, it's, it's the full moon. That's why that's yeah. happening. Yeah. yeah. I actually think on that topic, we don't give nature enough credit for how it um, how synergistic we are with it, whether it's yeah. the moon, whether it's, uh, you know, just what cortisol levels change when we're out in nature, the microbiome. So I love that. And as women, I think we intuitively know this, that we're connected to these cycles, but we're, we don't have enough discussions about them and we don't, aren't taught that by our doctor. And we're definitely not taught that in our sex ed course at, you know, class at 14 years old. But if you start to tap into the nature's rhythms, you'll see how as a woman, you are so intimately connected with Mm -hmm. nature's rhythms.